So howdy. Uh, this week I'm playing with uh, the remnants of a treadmill. Um, my fire hall was throwing out a treadmill and uh, I waited until no one said they wanted it and uh, scavenged it for parts. Uh, the parts I was really interested in uh, were the motor um, in the incline motor. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. That's in the upper right hand corner behind the circuit panel on the right. But the uh, motor's not pictured here. I was trying to figure out a way to get the control board that comes with it to work without uh, without the, the display panel, the control panel. I wanted the circuit board to work and control the motor. And I wasn't able to figure out a way to get it to work. Once I started unplugging things, it would throw error codes and it wouldn't work. Um, it might be possible, but I don't know how to do it. So uh, I started thinking of other ways and other, th other options. Um, and here's what I came up with. I had to lock that in. Okay, so here's the, uh, the motors. Let me bring it down a little bit. The motors in the bottom here. And I have three parts to the setup, and this isn't permanent. This is just what I'm, I like a proof of concept. Uh, this is a power supply out of a printer. Puts out 24 volts. I actually have a good 24 volt power supply that uh, I'm gonna use for this project, um, a 400 watt model. Um, this right here is what allows me to control the motor. And I have a, has a uh, control knob so I can control the speed of the motor. This works for motor uh, for output of 10 to 50 volts, I believe. And this motor, unfortunately for me, is a 100 volt motor. So I, I can't run it at full speed. Um, yeah, I, 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 there, there's no way for me to do it with that board. And when I was looking for boards, that can control a 100 volt motor, they're exp expensive, um, and there's not many of them. So I, um, uh, yeah, I I'll live with this. My, my other problem is this is 24 volts. This won't up the voltage past the input voltage. So, you know, 24 volts is all it would put to that motor. At 24 volts, that motor runs at uh, 760 RPM, which, isn't very useful for, to me. So I had this in my parts bin in the basement um, for another project and it's a, a step up converter. Uh, it'll go up to 36 volts which is what I have it configured for right now. Um, I have a much larger step up uh, controller coming in that'll do up to 150 volts um, and I'll use that and bring it up to 50 volts and then I can run the motor at half power and that you know doesn't sound all that impressive, but at full power, this was a 3,000 RPM motor. So at half power, it is a 1,500 RPM motor. Um, and I verified the voltage that was coming out of the control board um, that when I was when it was running at 10 miles per hour, which is the maximum this would go, it was putting out 92 uh, volts, and that was spinning the motor at right around 3,000 RPM, 2950 or something like that. Um, yeah, with, with this configuration, when I, I said with 24 volts, it spins at uh, 760. With um, 36, it spins just over a thousand. Um, and yeah, what I did was I varied the speed of the treadmill and hooked up a voltmeter and checked for different um, uh, voltages at different RPM levels. And it's pretty consistent with what I was getting out of the control board from the treadmill. Let me power this thing on. So I'm going to readjust the camera so you can see the control board and then I'll bring into the to everything else. Okay, so using the step up controller, you can see my input voltage is at 36 volts. Um, our output voltage is 36 volts zero current going through it right now and input 22 and a half 24 and a half 
Now all I have to do is turn the turn this on, and I'll switch this over to current so you can watch the current as it goes. Mm -hmm. So at ramp up it takes about one amp, and this is full speed for this amount of voltage. Again, 36.1 volts, and, and it uses anywhere from a half amp to a quarter amp usually. And I have a laser, I'm not sure if you're going to read that, but right now I'm at 1080 on the RPM with this. This doesn't put out a lot of amperage. Uh, so it'll trip at 5 amps, and if I put a load on this motor by, let me go grab, grab a towel, and put a load on it, you'll see the amperage go up, and eventually it'll trip. And that just tripped. So now I'd have to reset it in order for it to kick back off again. Um, and now it's off. It's back on again. And I can spin the motor back up. So, yeah. I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube about people repurposing uh, treadmill motors, but no one really kind of gave, you know, a lot of times they were using the controller, they were, you know, I'm going to turn this off because the wires are going to rub. They were using the controller that came with the treadmill, and that's not going to work for me. Uh, at least not that I can figure out how to yet. Uh, I'm not going to abandon that totally, but um, this is using off the shelf other than this, but you can replace that with a 24 volt power supply or you can get a 48 volt power supply but the nice thing with 24 volt is if I want to run a fan I have 24 volt fans um, that I can run to cool things off this does get warm I haven't gotten this warm at all yet um, yeah like I said, you could run a 48 volt power supply directly into here and, and skip over this entirely but uh, it's nice having 24 volts yeah I guess you could go the other direction and get a 48 volt and then get a step down converter so you could get uh, uh, standard 12 volt fans involved. Um, the other thing this motor has in the back is uh, an optical RPM uh, you know, setup. Right now it's not plugged into anything. Uh, I plan to take a look at how this works. I'm assuming positive, negative, and the other two wires are the feed. Uh, I should be able to plug that into an Arduino and get an RPM um, reading out of that. Uh, once I you know, count how many um, how many fins are on this because it, what it, it does is it looks for gaps in this plate in the back I need to remove the pulley off there uh, I have a gear puller I'm going to try to not damage it because I'd like to keep the fan and mount the fan back on there um, but if I don't it shouldn't be a big deal because I'm only going to run this about half power and it shouldn't really get hot the plan for this is to use it to run my lathe, um, which uses a quarter horsepower motor right now, um, and that motor runs at what 1,425 RPM. So at half power, this will be put out 1,500 RPM, which is just about perfect. Uh, yeah, I can vary it up to the max speed, um, and if I run it on the correct set of pulleys, that would be the max speed the lathe will be able to put out and I can go down from there. Um, yeah, we'll see how it works out, but you know, like I said, I've seen many videos of people using treadmill motors, but no one had parts, off-the-shelf parts. This stuff came off Amazon. You know, um, you know, this one was like 10 bucks, that was 15, I think. Um, they're from China, uh, like everything else. Power supply is 20 bucks, give or take. Um, and you can go with a bigger one, like a, a 600 watt power supply, but I really didn't think I needed that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a while before I get this mounted up to the lathe. Uh, I still have some more, I have the bigger 
controller. I need to make a box to put all this stuff in so I can keep other crap from getting into it. Uh, I don't want it to get metal shavings or whatever um, on the circuit board. That would be bad. Uh, so I need to make a box. And the other control board I have has a similar control panel but with more functions. And it's mounted to the board, but I, it looks like I can unmount it really easily and just run a ribbon cable and control it from the ex ex outside of the box. Um, this here, I can make these cables longer. I can also control this directly with the Arduino really, really easily. And it's just an on-off with this one here. And these other ones control the, um, uh, the speed. So, yeah, it's uh, entirely doable. Um, so I, I'm, I'm always one never to, to throw things out. Um, and uh, yeah, but a tre there's always somebody getting rid of a treadmill. Yeah, you know, anyone who buys a new treadmill, it's like you, if if you just ask people, somebody has one somewhere in their bedroom they're using to to hang their clothes on right now, and it has a motor in it that's worth more than the treadmill in my mind. Um, you know, a it says three horsepower, but they're not really three horsepower. It's still a fairly beefy um, motor, and with a minimal amount of work, you can you know get ver a, a variable speed. You can run this full speed at 100 volts, but that doesn't do me any good because 3,000 RPM is um, really, really fast. Uh, unless you have an application that calls for something like that. Um, I was thinking about maybe making a belt sander um, for sharpening, sharpening tool bits and things like that. And for something like that, maybe 3,000 RPM uh, would be fine. I actually have no idea. I haven't done enough research. But yeah, I'll link to the parts that I have. Uh, on Amazon, and I'll link to this one, and I'll also link to a different controller that uh, that I have coming in, uh, a different uh, step-up board that I have coming in. The only thing I really lose with this is I, I don't have reversing. Um, you know, you can just switch the wires to reverse, but yeah, you know, that's not really that's not a good solution. Um, so what I think I need to do is build an H bridge that'll take 100 volts, and I've been looking for one that I could buy. Um, and so far I haven't found one yet, but uh, I can make one. Uh, circuit designs are out there just going to use the correct sized pieces for 100 volt, 30 amps. Um, and you know, I should be okay. If I could find uh, a bigger board that wasn't 100 bucks to do this, I would love it. But most of the ones I've seen are around $100 that do uh, 100 volts. Um, so I can live with what, I, what I'm getting out of that though. Um, it'd be nice if I could also adjust the frequency, um, and you can't on this particular board, um, but I can live with that as well. Um, so, yeah, I figured I'd share it. And I, if, you, if you, you can't, everyone, there's always somebody who has a, a treadmill around. If you tell somebody you're looking for a, a, a treadmill for free, they just want to get it out of their house a lot of times. Um, yeah. Craigslist, there's almost weekly... Uh, free treadmill. Uh, they just want you to take it. Um, and then you can take the motor and the control board and all that stuff off of it. And you might be able to use your control board directly uh, with a little bit of um, finagling. Um, but if you can't, it's not that difficult to, to, to come up with a circuit board that'll, that'll do it. And this is, you know, the power supply I bought was like 20 bucks. This board here was 20 and the new board here was 20, so 60 bucks. To, 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 to control it, and it's not half bad. Um, so, figured I'd share it. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll definitely do this uh, on a couple other things, like my jet lathe. I could also see uh, converting to something like this. Um, you know, with that, uh, uh, max, max RPM out of this thing is, oh, tw uh, 2,500 RPM. And I'd like to actually remove the, the speed pulleys in the middle and make it just run off the motor. So yeah, if I can have a motor that I can run 3,000 RPM through, that would be just about perfect. Uh, that would be one of my other projects sooner or later, uh, so I can get variable speeds out of the out of the without having to switch belts around. So I'm really trying to avoid the switching belts; it's kind of a pain in the neck. So until next time. Thanks for watching.